the division as an equal distribution. Educational goals. The mother brought a box of chocolates with four pieces and she wants to divide it equally between Sammy and Rami. How much will she give each of them? That means she wants to give Rami the same number that she wants to give Sammy. The four pieces of chocolate represent the items and each of Sammy and Rami represent the groups. So, how do we distribute four items to two groups? Let's give Sammy a piece and Rami a piece. Then we give Sammy another piece and Rami another piece. Now, we divide the chocolate equally. What we have done now, my students, is called division. The division is the process of distributing the items among groups equally. How do we write the division sentence that expresses the distribution of chocolate that we did? First, we write the dividend, which is all the items that we want to distribute. And here, it is the chocolate pieces. How many are here? Four. Excellent. Then, we write the division symbol like this. Then we write the divisor, which is the number of groups that we want to distribute the items into equally. How many groups are here? Two. Excellent. Let's read the division sentence. Four divided by two. How much is it? How much did Sami and Rami each take? Two. Excellent. Each of them took two pieces of chocolate. So, four divided by two equals two. Excellent. We will call this result the quotient. We have eight strawberries here. We want to divide them equally into four plates. How many strawberries do we put in each plate? The strawberries represent the items, and the plates represent the groups. So how do we distribute eight items into four groups? Let's put one strawberry here, also here, here, and here too. We have four left. Let's distribute them. We will put one strawberry here, also here, and here, and here too. Now we finish distributing the items equally. All right. Okay, let's write together the division sentence. How do we write the division sentence that expresses the distribution of the strawberries that we did? First, we write the dividend, which is all the items that we want to distribute. And here, they are strawberries. And how many strawberries are here? Eight. Excellent. Then, we write the division symbol like this. Then, we write the divisor, which is the number of plates that we want to distribute the items into equally. How many plates are here? Four. Excellent. Let's read the division sentence. Eight divided by four. How much is it? How much did we put in each plate? Two. Excellent. So eight divided by four equals two. Good job. Now, my students, look at this jar. There are 15 pieces of candy in it. We want to divide them equally among five children. How many pieces will we give to each child? The pieces of candy represent the items, and children represent the groups. So, how do we distribute 15 items to 5 groups? Let's give this child a piece. Also this child, this child too, also this child, and this child. We still have candy left. Let's distribute them again and give each child another piece. Well, let's distribute these pieces too. Now we finished distributing all the items equally. Excellent. Let's write the division sentence together. How do we write the division sentence that expresses the distribution of the pieces of candy that we have made? First, we write the dividend, which is all the items that we want to distribute. And here, they are the pieces of candy. How many pieces of candy are here? Fifteen pieces. Excellent! Then, we write the division symbol like this. Then, we write the divisor, which is the number of children that we want to distribute the items among them equally. How many children are here? Five. Excellent. Let's read the division sentence. Fifteen divided by five. How much is it? How many pieces of candy did each child take? 
three pieces. Excellent. So 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Good job. Look closely at these balls. Were the balls distributed equally? Look, in the first basket there is one ball, and in the second basket there are two balls. In the third basket there are no balls in it. What do you think, my students? Were the balls distributed equally? Excellent. No, the balls were not distributed equally. Excellent. You are great. So who can tell me how to distribute the balls equally? Look, we have three balls and there are three baskets. The balls represent the items and the baskets represent the groups. So how do we distribute three items into three groups? Excellent. We will put a ball here, also here, and here. Now we have finished distributing all the items equally. Excellent. Well, let's write the division sentence together. How do we write the division sentence that expresses the distribution of the balls that we have? First, we write the dividend, which is all the items that we want to distribute. And here, they are the balls. How many balls are here? Three. Good job. Then we write the division symbol like this. Then we write the divisor, which is the number of baskets that we want to distribute the items among equally. How many baskets are here? Three. Well done. Let's read the division sentence. Three divided by three. How much is it? How much did we put in each basket? One ball. Good job. So, three divided by three equals one. Excellent. Seth brought six cars. He wants to divide them into several groups and puts two cars in each group. How many groups can Seth form? How do we know how many groups he can form? Well done. We'll use division. We can write 6 divided by 2. Seth owns 6 cars and wants to divide them by 2's. So that here we have written 6 divided by 2. And here, my students, we can use repeated subtraction to know the number of groups that he can make. And this means that in each time, we will subtract 2 from the total group, which is the 6 cars. Let's start. 6 minus 2. How much is it equal? 4. Excellent. We will subtract another 2 from it. 4 minus 2. How much is it? 2. Excellent. We will subtract another 2 from it. 2 minus 2. How much is left? 0. By that, we are done with the division. Now, let's count the groups that were formed. 1, 2, 3. Excellent. Let's count how many times we did the subtraction. 1, 2, 3. Well done! So, 6 divided by 3 equals 3. In repeated subtraction, we subtract equal groups repeatedly, and the number of subtraction times is representing the quotient. Tasneem owns 20 oranges and she wants to divide them into 5s. That means she wants to put each 5 oranges on a plate. How many plates does she need? How do we know how many plates she needs? Well done! We will use division. We will write 20 divided by 5 because the Sneem has 20 oranges and wants to divide them to 5s. That's why we wrote here 20 divided by 5. And here, my students, we can use repeated subtraction to know how many plates she needs. Each time, we will subtract 5 from the total group, which is 20 oranges. Let's start. 20 minus 5. How much is it? 15. Excellent. We will subtract another 5. 15 minus 5. How much is it? 10. Excellent. Again, we will subtract another 5. 10 minus 5. How much is it? 5. We will subtract 5 again. 5 minus 5. How much is left? 0. Excellent. By that, we are done with the division process. Now, let's count the groups. 1, 2, 3, 4. Well done! Let's count how many times we have subtracted. 1, 2, 3, 4. Excellent. So 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Excellent. You guys are great. So the Sneem needs 4 plates. With this, we have learned today the division and its symbol, writing mathematical sentences which express division, distributing the items to groups, equally using division sentences, getting to know the dividend, divisor, and quotient, and distinguishing between them, understanding the division as a repeated subtraction.